the legendary dark city unboxing got through about half um, of the cards so far most of the um, well all of the heroes most of most the, of the um, henchmen and villains but we got two more cards left so we have a few more different cards to look at so we're gonna try and do this quick do a quick one here so I'm gonna save this one it's got the seven it's got the rare right on top I'm assuming there's other rares in there so we're gonna open up this pack rip off this cellophane and I know I'm doing it the wrong way because they have one of the little gum strips uh, the little plastic strips that makes it easy to just rip it straight across but who cares so we should be getting to see some of the masterminds in this one but we got a few more heroes we'll kind of go quick through these as i'm sorting them out couple more angels um let's see got high speed chase angel where you draw two cards and discard a card so buy two get one free or sorry buy two return one and then diving catch angel I mean, if you got wings, that's what you're going to be doing. Wait until the very last second, diving down and catching them. So, let's see. Rescue is bystanders and draw two cards. This card effect causes you to discard this card. Okay. So, you're working with him. You draw two of these. One of them is this card. You get rid of it, and uh, you uh, get some nice stuff from it. Rescue bystander. And uh, draw two cards. That's cool. Kind of see what angel deck, how that's kind of working. Looks like a couple of them are kind of working with that uh, bystander synergy. Next, we have Bishop. We've seen uh, both of these bishops already. You got Concussive Energies. I'm oh, sorry, whatever the cost, and absorb the energies. I can't read. Apologies. Then some more blades. Seen both of them. So it looks like this pack is a lot of repeat heroes. So we'll go a little deeper, make sure. Well, I haven't seen that one before. No, no, I have. Yeah, so we're going to do a quick scan of these cards just like this. See if there's anything we haven't seen. I'm not sure I've seen that. Draw the Fire Colossus, you gain a wound. Oh, yeah, we have. Backflip Daredevil. It looks like this pack's all doubles of the heroes, at least like the first set we were opening, but let's go down, see if there's any new villains or masterminds at the end of this one, or for the end of the next one. Professor X, Wolverines, yeah, more henchmen, same henchmen. Yeah, these are all the same. This looks like the same pack we already opened. Okay, I should have just stayed on one video. I only got one more pack to open. But that's okay. Yeah. So those look like all. You, I'll even I'll show you uh, Dracula's daughter again. Ooh la la. Apologies to my girlfriend for being uh, attracted to a picture of an undead hoochie. Uh, let's hope she forgives me, guys. We'll see. Next video. Whether I've been dumped or not. Okay. So let's hope this deck has more than just this one different card. Okay, yeah, they look all different. Let's get these out of the way. So, a couple different angels. We have drop off a friend angel. You need to discard this card. And you get... Discard a card. You can get an attack equal to that card's cost. So he's already doing two, which is definitely expensive for five, but... You discard, you know, uh, a recruit card. You know, it's not going to do you any damage and not give you enough to recruit. Hey, hey, got some extra attack. And then what I'm assuming, it has to be the rare, is Strength of Spirit Angel. He does four attack, discard any number of cards, and draw that many cards. That's cool. Then, yeah, these are all going to be badass cards. Some more Concussive Blast, 
Bishop. Seen that before. Right here we got him with two Care Bear stairs coming out of his guns. He's doing a four attack. This is firepower from the future Bishop. Jeez. So now that calling it firepower from the future Bishop makes me just think, no, he's the one that comes and gets Wolverine. Who is it? Wolverine? Who, who comes into the future? Is it Bishop or Cable? I'm switching back to Bishop. His costume looks the most like it. But, so for attack, discard the top four cards of your deck. You get plus attack equal to those cards printed attack. Okay, that's pretty good. And then if you played an X-Men, knock out any number of those cards. Well, okay. Get rid of X-Men you don't want? Any of those cards, not any card. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I'm sure it's good once you understand everything. Then we got Vampiric Surge Blade. That's the uh, rare one there. Another seven cost. Looks like all of them are seven so far. Um, he does zero attack, but you get one attack for each villain in your victory pile. So he's going to be pretty good um, if you're playing solo because you're getting all those villains. Um, but it won't be good to the end when you actually have a nice stat going. At least, you know, paying seven. You want to at least have, you know, four or five for that kind of cost. Okay, got next up we got Cable. Does five attack right out the bat. That's pretty good. And then he can knock out any number of cards in your hand. You get plus one attack for each knocked out card this way. Okay. So it'd be good at first, the first couple times you play it, but eventually you're going to start running out of crappy cards. So... But I guess you're always doing just five attack. You can't do much better than that. With a, just like a standard hero. Then Russian heavy tank Colossus. Six attack. There you go. There's doing better. Uh, if any player would gain a wound, you may reveal this card to gain that wound and draw a card. Okay. So you kind of take it on yourself. Such a nice guy. But I guess when you're made out of metal, you know, you don't mind taking the people throwing bullets or rocks at you. Then we got our rare Daredevil, the man without fear. And uh, looks like he's jumping out of windows. He's got his uh, sweet cable chain hook thing he's got going. Cane, I don't know what it is. He's doing seven attack. Jeez, what just when I said there was five was good. We got it's just escalating each time. Doing seven. Choose a number, then reveal the top deck of your card. Draw it and repeat that process. Oh wow, so if you're right. So you could get a streak going. Basically you're just gambling with the top of your deck. Uh you know, if you have those senses of a, a blind man with uh they can get ra radioactive stuff spilled on him, boom. You could uh, draw your whole deck if you were lucky enough. Wouldn't happen to me, but I'm sure it happened to someone. Probably when they didn't need it at all. Then we have Domino. Against all odds, Domino. Looks cool. She's a versatile 5, so doing 5 recruit or 5 attack. And her superpower, if you play someone from X-Force this card, and each other versatile ability... You use for the rest of this turn produces both. Wow. Both uh, recruit and attack. So you got a bunch of dominoes. You play this thing. Everyone's given both. That is sweet. See this? I think that's the thing is uh, that excites me when I see this kind of these kind of cards. Is just like seeing the possibilities. Like, oh man, when I put this with this, um, they're going to work off well together. I didn't see too many. Who else was versatile? Let's see. Iron Fist. He's got a couple versatile. Overdrive. Forge has it. Huh. So she seems to have versatile on everything. Well, like just when I say that. I don't see one on that one. Well, it's still saying get plus four this or that. Then we have Silent Meditation Electra. Does five recruit. When you play Silent Meditation, you gain a hero. And sorry, when you play Silent Meditation, the next hero you recruit this turn goes into your hand. 
So that's pretty sweet. Pull someone out of the headquarters and right into fighting. That's even better than web slinging. Or uh, wall crawling, sorry. I mean, putting them right on top of your deck. And then if someone is already a Marvel Knight, you get two recruit. So that's good. Up to seven recruit with one card, one per cost. I've seen that again. That's the flaming town behind her. Then we got Forges, super good one. Well, I'm assuming super good. The cost the most. It's the uh, BFG Forge. And uh, big fan of Doom. You know, BFG, big fucking gun. Big fucking gun Forge. <laughs> Excuse my language. Has just a Gatling gun. Going crazy. Doing five attack. Oh, sorry. And the, the, the uh, comment is... That's a big freaking gun. Sorry, not not the F word. I apologize. It's freaking. And uh, if you've played two tech heroes, defeat the mastermind once for free. Holy moly, that's pretty good. Just two tech cards, so you'd have to definitely plan for it and be of recruiting a lot of tech. I don't know, I always feel like I'm never playing any tech heroes. I'm sure I am. But I guess maybe I just think the other people are cooler than people with gadgets and stuff. I don't know. Then we have our Ghost Rider. And <laughs> that's a pretty cool picture. You can see that. Just flame and skull right in your face. It is the Penance Stare. I think that's one of his powers. I don't remember the movie. I've never read one of his comics. But I think he, well, let's see if I can gather it from what it says here. So he's doing three plus attack. Each other, each player knocks out a villain from their victory pile. You get plus one attack for each villain knocked out this way. So it kind of sucks for single players. Um, and then Marvel Knights put one of those villains into your victory pile. So eh, kind of, kind of eh for single player games. It'd be cool for like three or four players. You know, you're getting three or four extra. You know, he's doing six. It's still, you know, these guys doing five, six, seven attack with just as much cost. But uh, you'd be getting a little extra pointage. But like I said, I don't know. I just hope he's not staring at me anytime soon. I think the penance stare, I'm, I'm assuming it like makes people want to confess their sins or something. When, when he like stares into their soul that seems like a thing a, a ghost rider trying to you know keep the devil off earth would do then we got some more ice man he's got impenetrable ice wall he's kicking up a wall so he can't shoot through he's doing seven attack which seems good for what sounds like a defensive card that you're putting up a thing if a villain Master Strike or Mastermind Tactic would cost you to gain any wounds or discard any cards, you may reveal this card instead. Eh, that's, that's kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, the, the strength itself of just it being a 7 attack is nice. You know, almost 1 for 1. That's good, right? Um, but then, just like you're protecting yourself from 1 wound, I guess that makes sense with that. Like I, I even just said, it's defensive sounding card. How, what else can you defend but that, right? is wounds. There's not really other ways they're hurting you. Knocking out heroes or something, I guess. But, uh, I don't know. That's cool, I guess. Then, who we got next? Iron Fist. His super duper card. Nine! Wow! That's expensive. That might be the most expensive card I've seen. I don't know if I've ever seen a nine in anything else I've ever gotten. Uh, if you know different, let me know in the comments. Um, but Living Weapon Iron Fist. See, like, this Iron Fist looks cool enough. He's in a full suit. He's not just some dude with a tattoo on his chest of what looks like, an, like a dragon. I'm sure it's a dragon, right? But he's doing 8 attack. Right out the bat. Reveal card from your deck until you have revealed 2 cards with the same cost. Draw all the cards you revealed. So that's pretty cool. Especially if you're keeping it, uh... Keeping it frisky with the uh, cost of cards. Okay, Jean Grey. I have a lot of hope for Jean Grey. The next couple ones, I'm hoping, have some good powers. So, Telekinetic Mastery Jean Grey. I just like that picture, for one. Looks like her at the bottom of the Grand Canyon or something. 
bunch of stones getting uh, picked up by her, I'm sure, and shooting at people. There's one shooting up into the, the spire right here. So she costs seven, five attack plus. Let's see how you get the plus. Whenever you rescue a bystander, of course, this turn you get plus one attack. And if you played another X-Men Rescue Bystander for each X-Men hero, you've played this turn. So that's going right. If you're doing an all X-Men deck, you could get four or five extra points right there. So she could be doing nine or something. That would be pretty sweet. Then here's another guy I'm hoping is cool. Nightcrawler, not to be confused with Jake Gyllenhaal. See, so he's a teleport, obviously. He's Banthin. This is along for the ride. Nightcrawler does five attack. When you play it, when you play or teleport this card, you may also teleport up to three other cards from your hand. Okay, so it's kind of like stacking the deck, giving up stuff now to uh, get a little better next time. That's kind of this old thing, you know, kind of delaying to get a better hand. Okay. Here we go. Professor X, he looks like an alien. He does not look human. Look, he's got a little, like... His jawline looks more like a jowl. Especially with the way that I can't, you know, since this isn't 1080p, that looks more like a jowl than a jawline. And then just his eyes and eyebrows. He looks like a little gray alien. But this is mind control, Professor X. Six attack. When you defeat a villain, this turn you may gain it. It becomes a gray hero with no text and gives plus attack equal to its damage. You still get its uh, victory points. So you're just straight up taking... I feel like a lot of time they dance around this about kind of like getting a villain to help you. This is just straight up like taking a villain, putting it in your deck... And it's just part of it now. That's cool. That makes sense for a mind control for a psych, uh, psychic like that. Especially a, a mind control Professor X. That's cool. I like that. Got another cool looking dude. Punisher. And this is just just nothing nothing to it. He's not firepower or strength of spirit. I mean, all these people got a little special names. Russian heavy tank classes. His name? The Punisher. That's all you gotta know. Nothing fancy. Kase does 4 plus. Let's see what he does to get some extra. Reveal cards from the hero deck until you have revealed two cards of the same cost. You get plus 1 attack for each card revealed this way. Put them on the bottom of the hero deck in random order. So, kind of get... It's a lucky... But that picture is just cool. Just him pointing the gun right at you. Punisher. Jeez, where did I put him? Oh, there he is up there. Then we got our Wolverine. Oh, we got a few Wolverine. Everyone else has kind of three cards. He has four. Let's see if any of these other ones. No more see we've seen. Animal Instincts Wolverine. I believe we've seen. So let's just look straight at the next one. Reckless Abandon Wolverine. He's flexing for the camera. Three attack. Count the number of extra cards you drew this turn. Draw that many cards. Okay, so kind of double up on how many cards you draw. Is he drawing lots of cards? Yep. Yeah, it looks like all his other cards were draw an extra card, or if you drew an extra card, you get to do this. So that's cool if you get a nice little thing going. Okay, so now we're on to some new stuff. Got about half the deck left. That's all the uh, heroes. But this one introduced fancy. Oh, geez, we got a bunch of them too. Some fancy bystanders that do more than just rescue. You usually have a bystander deck, you guys know. They don't do anything. Uh, at least when you when you save them, they don't do anything besides give you one point. Um, in Dark City, they introduced um, just special bystanders that have little special... I think they're always bonuses. I don't think they're ever anything that hurts you. 
are getting rewarded for saving. When you rescue them, rescue them, they do something. Uh, I think in my deck, I don't remember if it's ever come up, but I think Secret Wars expansion, I think it came with like two or three extra ones. These ones, it looks like you're coming with, there's three different kinds, each of them getting four. So maybe it came with four. I think Bankers was the, the one from Secret Wars. And those ones, when you rescue someone that is in the bank, space or something, well, when you rescue him, whoever, whatever hero in the headquarters is under that spot, under that spot in the city, you get minus two. He's basically discounted for that turn. I haven't found it too helpful. It's only helped me maybe once where it was something like, oh man, I couldn't afford this otherwise. Now I'm getting this discount and it's helping me. Thank you, banker. And plus, he just comes up so rarely in a deck of 30. Like, I wonder if you're supposed to... I've never read up if you're supposed to be, like, replacing the Bystander deck or making it larger. Like, I think it starts out at 30. So I'm guessing before it was at... I was having it at 34. I think I just put him in. I didn't take out any other Bystanders. So I wonder if I'm going to be putting in 12, 12 more into the deck, making it, like, a deck of, like, 45, or taking it out and keeping it at 30. Because that would be about... 50 50 special good um i think it'd be better i'm sure people have written articles about that let me know if you guys in the comments if you uh if you know if i'm supposed to be removing just the the standard um uh standard bystanders replacing with these nice ones but let's look at what these guys said this news reporter and you can see i can't tell what hero it is it looks like someone fighting the hulk um, someone with kind of energy beams coming out or fighting what looks to be the Hulk right there. And he's on the scene. Like, uh, Christina Mendonca is, uh, one of my, <laughs> my local reporters. I'm in California. So, uh, on the scene, when you rescue this by standard draw card. Well, that's just nice. Then we got Paramedic. Let's see what's happening here. He looks like David Blaine as a white man, like a pure white man. I think David Blaine, he looks at least partially. Maybe he is just a white dude. I always assumed he was like half Spanish or something. But this guy looks like David Blaine without a goatee. But he's saving this guy's life. Iceman's surfing in the background. And when you rescue this bystander, you may knock out a wound from your hand or from a, any player's discard pile. Makes sense. Paramedic. Okay. Then we got Radiation Scientist. Uh, when you rescue this bystander, you may knock out one of your heroes or a hero from your discard pile. Huh. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty common. Get rid of your junk people. I don't know why what radiation has to do with that. Like, you're dosing them with radiation to kill them? <laughs> Get them out of your deck? Whatever. And I think that was it. Yeah, that's it. That's cool. I look forward to it, especially at least the news reporter, the paramedic. Mostly the news reporter. I want to draw cards. love drawing cards. That's why you get this into this game. All right, finally. Okay, so that's who that is. Into the masterminds. So how many was it? Four? Yeah, it looks like four. I recognize most of them. So first up, the guy who was on the cover of the box, who I didn't know what it was, it's Apocalypse. Rings a bell, but I don't, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what he kind of does. He always leads the four horsemen. Jeez. I have a feeling he was a Spider-Man thing, but I might be, maybe he was X-Men? I don't know. Who knows? He's got two, like, side mohawks. I don't know what you call that. You have two mohawks. Duo hawks. Uh... And they're shaved to the thing. Shaved to the scalp. Not very tall for Mohawk. So, four horsemen. And the four horsemen get plus two. And I think one of them. Jeez. Do I still have the four horsemen out? I don't think I put them away yet. One of them was doing lots of damage. Let's see. Bullseye. News reporter. Azalea. Melfs. A sweet Melfs. Okay, let's see. Well, no. So the most one of them's going to be doing is nine. He gets plus two when you're playing Apocalypse. Apocalypse wins when famine, pestilence, war, and death have escaped. Master Strike. Each player reveals their hand and puts all of their heroes that cost one or more on top of their deck. 
So, that's yeah, not too bad. And I won't get into what their little, uh, what the powers are. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. I'm guessing a lot of these are going to be bad, because that's what everyone was saying, how hard they were. This player knocks out two heroes. Yeah, no good times with Apocalypse. And guy I remember. I didn't like him so much in the most recent Daredevil. Even though I, don't, I like that actor. From uh, Full Metal Jacket. And what else was he on? Uh, long, one of those Law and Orders. The weird one. That yeah, was a weird guy. Kingpin. You can bribe him, which is good, because he takes 13. Well, I guess Apocalypse was taking 12. So he takes 13. You can bribe him, though. And he leads Streets of New York. Makes, stri makes sense. And when you Master Strike, each player reveals a Marvel Knight hero. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Or discards their hand and draws five cards. So that kind of sucks. Let's look at like one of these. Put a zero hero from your um, zero quest here from your knockout pile on top of each other's player's deck. Okay, whatever. That. Next up is Mephisto. I feel like he was just straight up the devil, wasn't he? Or something? Uh, whenever a player gains a wound, put it on top of that player's deck. Well, that's mean. <laughs> You're constantly just funneling him right to the top. Ten attack. He leads the underworld. Makes sense if he is, in fact, the devil. Um, if I am right about that. Master Drake. Each player reveals a uh, Marvel Knight or gains a wound. So you better be playing Marvel Knights. See, if you're not reading these, I would never have known to pick like, oh, I better be picking a bunch of Marvel Knights. It always says, like, in the rules, randomize which heroes you pick when you're going to be playing them. But who would want to do that? Especially when they're, like, so focused on their kind. Oh, man, there's no more. We got Mr. Sinister. I recognize him. His flat top looking dude. So he takes eight to take down, eight plus. He gets, let's see, his sister gets plus one uh, attack or, you know, one attack to kill him uh, for each bystander he has. Uh, always leads Marauders. Master Strike, Mr. Sinister, Sinister captures a bystander, then each player with exactly six cards reveals a covert hero or discards cards equal to the number of bystanders Mrs. Sinister has. So that sucks. Because most everyone is always going to have six cards unless something bad has just happened. Because you obviously, whenever you end your turn, you draw back up to six. And unless you've, like, uh, saved, like, killed one of those, uh, one of those henchmen that lets you uh, draw an extra card or something. And then... One of examples of one of his tactics, fight Mr. Sinister, captures bystanders for each of Mr. Sinister's tactics in players' victory piles, including this tactic. So, he could be doing, well, basically three would be the most he could do, because if you were doing his last one, who cares how many he's rescuing, because you just killed him. But uh, he does certainly look sinister to me. That flat top, just creepy. Then we have... The last mastermind in the Dark City pack, Strife. Looks like, it looks like he should be in that uh, Double Fine game, uh, Brutal Legend. If you ever played that, a game about heavy metal. He's just got metal armor, a sweet. He's got a helmet. I don't know if you can tell. So that's his helmet, yeah. And he's got kind of like bat ears coming up, or like wings coming from the top of his head. And then, like, his shoulders, I think these are part of his shoulders, they mimic it and get bigger behind him. Maybe that's just one gigantic helmet? I can't tell. It doesn't look like they're quite attached to that part. They look like they're more sitting on his back. And he's got spiked shoulders. Dude looks like he should be on the, the cover of a metal album. Uh, so he leads the MLF. Don't know what that stands for. So I'm just going to assume it means MILF, right? Seems like a Marvel family-friendly thing they want to be, uh, be pushing. Fighting Melfs. Uh, he does seven, but a plus, so I'm guessing he easily gets some pluses to that seven. Uh, Master Strike. Stack this Master Strike next to Strife. Strife gets plus one for each Master Strike stack next to him. 
Each player reveals an X-Force hero or discards a card at random. So, not too bad for single player. Knock on plastic here. Because uh, you only ever have one Master Strike in your pile. Unless you're... Uh, you're you can... Uh, juke up the difficulty a little put in some more master strikes i guess so maybe you'd want to do that to make it a little harder because then he's only ever going to be plus eight then let's look at one of his tactics um looks like it's gaining wounds a wound from the wound stack becomes a master strike that takes effect immediately okay so his tactics kind of make it harder who would have figured now this is one of the things Everything else left is you got some henchmen and villains. Blah blah blah. Those are boring. Remember the uh, Magia goons that I couldn't pronounce earlier or in my first video? And then we have the schemes. The schemes are what I'm kind of interested in. That's what kind of keeps it fresh for me. Having so many different schemes, it takes kind of long for each of them uh, to play out. You know, you're playing, I think I've done everything, it seems to be about an hour. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I'll probably have at least eight hours, you know, of playing if I never play any different combinations. So, eight, and then 17 heroes you're doing. Is it three or four when you're playing solo? Four, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah. So, you have like at least four times of playing completely new heroes. And then a few times mixing them back up uh, to, to beat each game. So let's just look at the names of some of these. Capture Baby Hope. I, I know someone talked about what this was. I don't know what it is. I think it was a big thing. Some baby. I'm sure the baby had powers or something. Capture Baby Hope. Let's see what it says. Eight twists is the setup. Put a token on the scheme to represent the baby. <laughs> Hope Summers. Okay, so Summers, that rings a bell. I think I would know what they're talking about. So Summers is Cyclops' last name. He's Scott Summers. So I'm guessing that, like, his baby and Jean Grey, Grey had a baby together, and I'm sure it was, like, super powerful, right? The, the baby of Jean Grey. I think, I think that kind of rings a bell. Like a super powerful baby getting kidnapped, and then like, oh, my gosh, what do we do? We got to go save our super baby. I also, who else have I heard of Super Babies? I think the Fantastic Four. Didn't they, didn't uh, Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman have like the most powerful mutant baby ever? Uh, I think I remember reading something about that. He could just like create universes at will or, or something like that when he was like eight. So uh, just think what he would do when he hit puberty. Ungodly things to his genitals. That's That's all I can think. And, uh, so next one we have Detonate the Helicarrier. That's cool. Take that shield. Um, let's see. Whenever a hero is knocked out from the headquarters, turn the hero face down on the headquarters base, representing an explosion on the helicarrier. When the helicarrier headquarters space is, has six explosions, that space is destroyed. And can't hold heroes anymore. So you could uh, potentially start getting rid of um, your recruit uh, ability. could go down. That's interesting. So save humanity. That's, well, I mean, I'm not going to say no. So eight twists, 24 bystanders in the hero deck. One player, 12 bystanders. Okay. Special rules. You may spend two recruit to rescue a bystander from the headquarters. And the t for every twist you draw, knock out all bystanders in the headquarters. Then each player reveals an instinct hero or knocks out a bystander from their victory pile. Evil wins when the number of bystanders knocked out and or carried off is four times the number of players. Okay, that's interesting. So you're just you're straight up saving. I'm sure you're going to want to pick Jean Grey for that with all her rescue bystander stuff. I think Angel had some of that stuff too. Save humanity. Then we have Massive Earthquake Generator. Looks like a pretty simple scheme. There's only like four lines. Eight twists. Each player reveals a strength hero or knocks out the top card of their deck for each twist. That kind of sucks. And then Evil wins when the number of non-gray heroes in the knockout pile is three times 
the number of players. Jeez, so for single people, that would just be three. Right? Am I, am I doing the right math? Twists. Eight twists. Each player reveals... So yeah, so you have to you have to get strength heroes for that. Because, it, yeah, it'd just be three times you did that. Three times out of eight. Yowzers. That sounds scary. Okay, organized crime wave. Eight twists include ten of those goons I can't pronounce as one of the henchmen groups. Goons have the ability to ambush, play another card from the top of the villain deck. Okay, special rule. Each goon escapes the city. Shuffle all goons from players' victory palace into the villain deck. Ooh. Then steel weaponized plutonium. Um, you just, you know, you go to the pine... Pine Ridge Mall. What was the one in uh, Back to the Future? Are you stealing it from the... Uh, I don't even remember what country it is. Pakistan or something. <laughs> Libya. I think it was, I believe it was Libya. Now that I'm thinking about it. Hit me up in the comments. Smash that like button. Let me know... What... What country of origin... Those terrorists... And they were terrorists... Because they wanted a bomb... <laughs> were in Back to the Future 1 that he uh, borrowed plutonium from. Okay, eight twists representing plutonium. Add an extra villain group. Okay. Plutonium is captured by the closest villain to the villain deck. If there are no villains in the city, knock out this plutonium each way. Either way, so you always want someone in the city then. Either way... Play another card from the villain deck. Special rules. Each villain gets plus one for each plutonium it has. Okay. How many more do we got? Okay. So these last two. Two more. Then we'll wrap this video up. Transform citizens into demons. Oh my goodness. Villain deck includes 14 extra green gray cards and no bystanders. Wow. That's an interesting setup. Stack. So every twist, stack five bystanders face down next to the scheme. Bystanders stacked here are demon goblin villains. They have two strength or two attack, you know, two health. Uh, players can't fight these demon goblins to rescue them as bystanders can fight sorry that makes a lot of big difference players can fight these demons demon goblins to rescue them as bystanders okay special rule each gene gray card counts as a goblin queen villain she is the lizard queen like lisa simpson um it's worth four victory points it has uh attack or health equal to its cost plus the number of demon goblins stacked next to the scheme. So that can get pretty uh, chunky. So she could, you could have five down if you haven't rescued any yet. And so five, you get the rare. She's uh, 12. I have to do. Yikes. Okay, last, last scheme here. Last card of the deck that we're going to be going over today. Executioner's Song. And ex ex it's not it's not spelled quite right i'm sure it means like the x-men or something you're killing the x-men something something x hyphen cutioners uh eight twist villain deck includes 14 cards from an extra hero and no bystanders whenever you play a hero from the villain deck that hero is captured by the closest enemy to the villain deck each villain gets plus two health for each hero it has when you fight an enemy gain all the heroes captured by the enemy I like that. That's pretty cool. And then when you reveal a twist, knock out all heroes captured by enemies, then play another card from the villain deck. Evil wins when non nine non-gray heroes are knocked out or carried off. So you don't want to be getting one of those cards where you're um where you're just getting rid of uh, villains you, or where you're having to get rid of uh, heroes that you don't want or if you have to get rid of them but that's going to do it for us um, this was our second half of the legendary dark city um, 
and I had fun looking at this. And I hope uh, some of you guys, I hope someone will check this out and they'll either find it useful or they'll find it infuriating and will explain to me uh, some of the stuffs, any of the uh, the stuff I got wrong, whether it was lore or um, mechanic game wise. But uh, like I said the last time, if you know any of the heroes here that um, are kind of a good mix mash that you have fun with that you think's fun that would be fun to play with uh uh especially solo maybe two player game is uh, about the best i can do getting me and uh and my girlfriend that's about the the the, the most people i can get to play at one time um let me know and uh if you like this I, i've never done unboxing like this before but it's been sitting here and i was like uh figure I should you know I haven't done a video for a little while I at least want to try and kind of do something even if it's just you know for my own uh, enjoyment get it out there get it on tape and uh, hopefully maybe help someone see if they they like the stuff that's in this um, so I'm just gonna give a quick I guess just a rundown of what I thought of it I think um, like I say I still don't know just what the term dark city means um, I'm going to go ahead and just plop that. Oh, no, that's upside down now. I have my camera kind of mirrored, so it's always weird for me. I still am not quite sure what Dark City means. Um, like I said, a, I don't know if it was one big um, event that happened in the Marvel Universe or if it's just talking about New York. Like Kingpin, he's leading the people of New York. It looks like skyscrapers, but what else, what doesn't in the these they they're not usually in little towns. They don't have skyscrapers fighting. Um. So yeah, if you guys know that, go ahead throw that in the comments for uh for my benefit or for anyone else's benefit that's seen this. But I'd say on the whole, it looks cool. I mean, all the heroes. I was a little nervous. Um, I wasn't sure of all the heroes who were in it when I bought it. I mean, you can see on the back, I think they mentioned, like, uh, who Cable and Professor X, I think, are the ones they, let's see, they talk about. Um, yeah, Cable, Professor X, and Blades. That's all I could really tell. I mean, I could see Colossus on the box when it finally came. And then the front of the box, you see Colossus and Cable and, um... Uh, Ghost Rider, but I, I didn't know much else. I knew I, I knew that was King Pen, and like I said, until I was looking at the cards, I wasn't here sure who that was. That's Apocalypse, um, apparently. And so the heroes, I'm pretty happy with the heroes. As just like kind of a casual fan of Marvel, I feel there's good mix. There's a few I don't like. I have no idea who Forge is over here. Um, Iron Fist literally only knew about him this last year because of that Netflix show and um, um, kind of the controversy around, uh, I guess he's an Asian uh, hero in the comics and here they've, they've given it to a white guy. Uh, it doesn't bug me too much, but I could see, I guess I, I, guess I was bugged when, uh, <laughs> with certain other properties when they cast a white person so i yeah i full power to those guys i'm sure uh, that's a frustrating um there's not going to be famous asian actors if you don't give any asian actors a chance so i can kind of see that um who else did i like blade you know i like that movie in the 90s i don't like i don't know how it holds up gene gray looks cool um just because i like gene gray um so it was cool kind of get the two um get professor x over here um wolverine again it does seem weird that they did back to back like this was the first expansion i don't think there's even a mini expansion before this so he comes in the first one and now i guess just a new version of wolverine and i have a feeling it might not be the last <laughs> wolverine i bet i have a feeling that noir might have some kind of noir um wolverine in it or something but i guess you give the people what they want um, Electra, I don't know too much about. Um, 
besides it being Jennifer Garner. Domino, I know absolutely nothing about, but I, I kind of look forward to I want to play with these first style cards. That's her, their power. Daredevil was cool. Um, at least looking on the cards. Uh, Ghost Rider, I don't think I was thrilled with the mechanics as much of, of his cards, but just the art looks cool. Um, teleporting with Nightcrawler will be cool. So yeah, so Heroes all seem cool. Punisher seem cool. Masterminds. Kingpin's the only one I'm like itching to try. He'll be the first one I probably do. Let's see. Each each player reveals a yeah, kinda looking at what he did again. Um the other ones I don't know too much. Like Mr. Sinister I recognize. I think he was in one of the cartoons. No idea who Strife is. Um No idea who who's the other one? Sees Mrs. Sinister. Oh, sorry, I covered him up. Oh, Mephisto. Don't remember him. I think he's the devil. I don't know. But schemes look fun. They look interesting. They're trying to kind of uh, add more mechanics, making the city or the headquarter spaces the helicarrier. You know, representing the helicarrier. Um. So I don't know. I'm gonna say I'm uh, enthusiastic. Look forward to getting this on the table, trying it out. Um, probably getting a little too late. Probably not going to do another video tonight, but hopefully in the next week. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. Hopefully this wasn't too long. Um, but thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Uh, come back again. Let me know anything uh, you guys want to see, and uh, I'll do my best to, uh, to set it up. If you have any uh, good ideas on twists on schemes or uh, if how I should make them a little harder or a little easier, uh, let me know in the comments. All right. Have a good night. See you, folks.